Hi everyone, Nevada Nail Person, and today I have a nail polish haul. I was on my way to do another errand, and I happened to be driving past Cosmoprof, so yeah, let's stop in. Yeah, you know how we go. So, I, for some reason, I realized I did not own OPI's um, Big Apple Red. And it's such a staple. It's a gorgeous standard red. And I could not find, I know at one time I had it, can't find it. Either it went bad or I loaned it to someone or it's missing. So I don't have it, but now I do. So it is just a classic red. And my little nail rings do not fit on OPI. So there it is on the nail ring. It is two coats. It's just a classic, beautiful glossy red just a staple so if you're a nail polish lover and you had to pick one red this is the one I would go for it's a gorgeous gorgeous red so that is OPI's Big Apple Red and since I was in the aisle um, I've never purchased one of these designer series um, OPI's so yeah thank you I will this one's called uh, Tourmaline, and it is just this shimmery, gorgeous pink. It is, uh, you can see the glitter, it's got gold and pink, and it just forms this meta wonderful metallic-y type finish. And here it is on a nail ring. So it's a little bumpy. This is two coats on the nail ring. Um, let's see if I can get a good shot of it. It's just metallic -y. It's wonderful. It's a great metallic -y color for spring. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Some of the other um, designer series were rather dark. This just caught my eye as very spring-like. And since I wanted to try one of these babies, it was this one. So this is OPI Designer Series Tourmaline. So, um, as I was checking out... In front, they had a little bin of discounted nail polishes. Okay, let's take a look. So this is a brand I've never heard before, or I might have noticed, but I've never purchased it before, and I am so glad I did. Um, it's by a company, Vinique, and it is just a gorgeous polish. It is all the polishes I've tried so far, they were on discount for $1.99, $2, and took a chance, and they are gorgeous. So this first color, and I'm going to need glasses for this, because they have tiny, tiny little writing. This one's called Best Behavior, and it is this teal color, and it does have a slight shimmery color, to, shimmer finish to it. And on the nail ring, you can see it's a satin. It doesn't really come across with um, that that shimmer, but I'm sure if you put a top coat on it will. But look, isn't that color absolutely gorgeous? I would definitely wear that in its matte state. This was two coats, and it was fully opaque. Absolutely gorgeous. So glad I purchased this. So let's see, I have a few more. And this one is called... Shake it, don't break it. And it is just a wonderful, deep, turquoise green shimmer. It, it's, it reminds me of like a, the OPI type shimmer polishes. It's not very pearlesque. It's just that nice shimmer. No brush strokes. You can see two coats on the nail ring and it is just gorgeous. Um, let me see if I can take it off and give you a better close-up. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous with that finish? So that is Shake It, Don't Break It. And a lighter color caught my eye. This one is called Up Your Glow. And it is just that wonderful lavender color. Um, two coats on the nail ring. It's glossy, opaque. It's just beautiful. Just a wonderful spring color. So that is Up up Your Glow. <laughs> Strange name. But beautiful. 
And then we have a couple of um, uh, micro glitter type polishes. This one is called Layered with Lace. And it is just, if you could see, just a wonderful mix of uh, holographic type glitters that are, this is two coats on the nail ring, so that's pretty opaque. You could wear it on your own. You could probably do three to have that full, full, full opacity, but that is two coats. It looks like just sparkling diamonds on this nail ring. It is absolutely gorgeous. So this is called Layered with Lace. I love my accent nail, so this is just perfect for that. Love it. And another one, similar, is called Retail Therapy. And this is, um, this one seems to have more of a base, uh, a purple, like a shimmer in it. But it's those micro glitters in there that you can see that come together. Purple with a slight little pink tone in it as well. And it comes out to this color. And isn't that a beauty? So that would be another great accent nail. So two coats on the nail ring. Absolutely gorgeous. And then the final polishes is... Um, this one, and actually this is what's on my nails right now. This is a fairy tale wish, and it is just that bright, light blue. It's that white, white, milky blue. Um, I could probably like a Zoya Blue, B-L-U. Um, gorgeous color, great formula. It's what's on my nails right now. Very, very happy to get this polish. It is absolutely gorgeous. And then, of course, because I have my little accent nails, um, this is another one of those micro glitters. And this has more of a, a bluish tinge to it. And this one's called um, Lavish Embellishment. So you could see on the nail ring, a um, little bit more of a cooler tone, but with those micro glitters coming together. Two coats on this nail ring. And... That is pretty opaque. I don't, you may want three, but two, it's pretty opaque. So I am very, very happy with these polishes. So, like I said, this is what's on my nails right now. So, um, this, of course, being the dots. Um, so that's what's on my nails. And I love this one thing I wanted to add because this is a new polish. I should probably show you the brush. So here is the brush. It is a pretty standard brush. Um, standard. So not too thick at all. I prefer thin brushes because I have uh, my nails are not very wide. So that's it. Just wanted to share that little I tidbit. I did see in a display that they had a neon collection out. So I'm going back and I'm getting them. Um, I love China Glaze, and I really want to try their collection, but since I've been so happy with this brand, I'm going to give them a try for their um, neon. So that's my haul, and I'm sure I'll have another one coming up probably tomorrow. So I will talk to you soon. Bye.